So one of my favorite games, and I hear it's uh, a favorite of our founder, is Age of Empires. So what we did is we took Age of Empires 2 HD, you can see it pinned to the start menu. Now this is the package you would get from Steam where it's available today. And in fact, if you watch, you'll see the live tile turned and you'll see the number of people that are actually playing this game live right now on Steamworks. We have 5,223 players. So what we did is we took the package from Steam, ran it through the converter and turned it into a modern desktop application. So let's launch it to see how it runs. You can see it launch. Our splash screen, Steamworks kicks up, and here it is. So we are now in age two, running just as it would run uh, if you bought it from Steam today. Multiplayer is here. One of the requests we've heard from people is support for mods and how that's gonna work. So if you know anything about age two, you know in the Steam Workshop, we have the mod, here's the list of mods that are available for H2. I could select any of these, apply them against the running, win, the running version of the game here, and they would work just fine but I want to actually boot the game and just show you, so the proof is here. And there you go. So H2 HD running as a modern desktop application, taking advantage of all of the features that Windows 10 enables. But while I love H2, we wanted to challenge ourselves a little more to see how our platform was holding up. So we did an experiment, and this is just an experiment with our friends at CD Projekt Red. We took The Witcher 3, which for many people was a 2015 PC game of the year, an amazing game, ran it through the same converter, and let me show you how it works. So here it is, pinned to the start menu. It's a bigger game, takes a little bit longer to load. Here it is. So what you'll see is there it is, The Witcher 2 running at full frame rate as a modern desktop application.